On this video we will make acquaintance with Rocio, one of the four railway terminals in Lisbon, Portugal. We will start from ground level and explore all nooks and crannies of this 130 years old station. Stay tuned! Hi and welcome! This is the first of four videos about Lisbon's most important railway stations. We are at Rocio Station, built to serve as terminal for trains arriving in Lisbon. It opened in May 1890, after works that lasted for three years and involved as well the construction of the Rocio Tunnel with a length of 2,613 meters. Its name, back then, was Central Station, a name which we can still see engraved in these horseshoe doors. Let's get inside! Facing the doors, a big clock and a very small departures screen. There is also a Starbucks and information office for the railway company, CP. A souvenir shop, a tourism information kiosk and a few ATMs. Going up this first small, mechanical stairs we reach a landing from where access is possible to a quaint square on the side of the station. There are a few cafes and restaurants. It feels quite cozy. It's a recent addition as this square used to be a parking lot. Funny fact, the square is actually owned by the Railway Infrastructure Manager, IP, and not by the municipality. There was a tradition of closing it every year on January 1st, but that's no longer done. Let's get back inside. Going up the second mechanical stairs we see, above, these glass bridges. It's a very modern look for such an old station. As we arrive at the top floor, right in front, are the ticket offices. Here we have a back access leading directly to this top floor which is also from where trains depart. Also on this floor are some lockers, a small lottery and tobacco kiosk and, at the opposite wall, a hostel where there used to be several offices. Passing under these arches we reach the train platforms. Even if when it opened it housed all passenger trains arriving and departing from Lisbon, nowadays only commuter class 2300 and 2400 visit Rocio. In 1955, the works for the electrification of the Sintra line, which starts here, required the transfer of all traffic to the original station, Santa Apollonia, a little distance from downtown. After completion and reopening, only commuter traffic to Sintra and the trains of the West Line to Caldas da Reina and Figuera da Faz returned here. All others remained in Santa Apollonia which became the long-distance train terminus in Lisbon and will be featured in a future video. In the late 1990s this station was fully modernized. A modern canopy was added to the old one, platforms were heightened and lines reduced from 10 to 5 making this a modern commuter station for the Sintra Line.
A connection to the subway was also built, and that's how we exit the station today, via this charming, pagoda-like canopy. Mechanical stairs are available only for those climbing up, not for the opposite direction. Of notice is that the station is very clean and well kept, thus showing all its beauty. Even if not taking a train, Rossio deserves a visit just for itself alone. After the stairs, a hallway with miscellaneous advertisements on both sides. A long hallway which takes us to this atrium where, after scanning the tickets we gain access to a set of mechanical stairs going all the way down to the subway level. This very large cavern was built in the 1990s and has a very calming vibe. Also, the illumination is just perfect, neither too weak nor too strong. Please note the tile panel in the far wall. It's not only beautiful, but it also breaks the monotony of what would be, otherwise, a big dull wall. Turning right we have another long hallway. After one last right turn we will be at the Restorators Metro Station and near the end of this video. Thank you for joining me until the end, and if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe. In the near future videos like this will cover the other train termini in Lisbon and many other travel-related subjects.